Hello everybody, this is Leslie and um, it is Thanksgiving Day and I'm making a quick message to give thanks for all of you. Those of you who know me in person know that uh, my husband passed away almost five months ago and this is my first Thanksgiving without him. And the holiday season for people who have suffered loss of any kind, it could be loss of a job, loss of um, loss of a relationship, loss of a loved one, a loss of um, their health. But anybody who is going through a time of trial, a time of grief during the holidays, um, it can be pressurized. It can be especially difficult. But this morning I woke up knowing that there is always, always reason to give thanks, no matter what comes. I have been so blessed and so grateful over these past several months to not only feel the tangible, palpable love of God and the comfort of the Holy Spirit embracing me and um, welling up inside of me at all times and carrying me through difficult, difficult days, but I've been surrounded by an army of saints, by friends and family members who have shown up in the flesh to um, at the beginning to bring meals and to you know, tend to logistics tend to logistics, but over the, the months, you know, as, as the days pass, you worry, are they going to forget? Is it still going to carry the same weight? And people continue to reach out, and they continue to call and text and invite me places. And this is really not about me and, and my journey, but that regardless of whatever circumstance you're in, I want you to know first and foremost that God sees you. He sees you and he knows and he is there and he will never leave you or forsake you. You are precious in his sight. You are his child. And if you don't feel him or hear him at this time, I encourage you to call out to him in the quiet to just say, Father God, I need you. Jesus, I need you. I don't hear you. I don't, I don't feel you. And I don't know why this is happening to me. And this seems unfair. And this is so hard. And I feel so broken. And I feel so abandoned. Jesus, I need you. I need you. So many people during times of, of difficulty and grief, they turn their back on God. They blame him as if he was sitting there in his heavenly throne thinking, well, I'm just going to punish this one. I'm going to turn my back on that one. No, he is the creator of the universe and he created you and he knit you together in your mother's womb. He conceived you before the beginning of time. You are precious. And he sent his son to die on a cross because you are so precious to him. He wants nothing more than to be with you. Jesus died on the cross for the atonement of all of our sins. And he was buried and he rose again. God resurrected him and gave him new life so that you and I could have new life. And so even though my husband isn't here, he has new life. I know exactly where he is. A friend of mine says he's just gone ahead on vacation. I know I get to see him again, and I know exactly where I'm going, and I want you to go there too. I want desperately for you to go there too, so that you have this hope as an anchor for your soul, firm and secure, and it enters into the inner sanctuary, behind the veil, into the Holy of Holies. And so I pray that you give thanks this morning because you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And if you don't, I pray that you invite him into your heart. There's a tough road ahead. There is a tough road ahead. There things will happen in your life that you can't explain, that seem so unfair, that seem almost cruel. They are not of God. God wants to protect you and shelter you from all of it, and he wants to call you home eternally. We're only here for a very short time, but we are spirit beings and we have all of eternity ahead of us. And there's only one place I want you to spend it, and that is with me and my husband and our Lord and Savior. And so this morning I give thanks, true, sincere thanks, that God calls me his own, that he calls me his daughter, a daughter of the Most High King, that I have been adopted and redeemed and set free from the bondage of sin and death. And I pray that you will too. God bless you and happy Thanksgiving.